Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Isaac Daily Run. This looks like Eden, and if it ever loads, we will find out. That means we start with two random items, which are the scary ability to fly, Spirit of the Night, and one of those big beans that farts on stuff. Uh, that's, uh, that's the okay of the two. There's another one which will just uh, have the pheromones effect on everything in a close by radius to you. Do I want this? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Well, why not? It means that our um, range is actually now terrible. But we can fly and also have spectral tears, so we're kind of the lost at this stage. Well, we'll fight the boss. Um, but the Giga Fart Bean here is not my favourite thing in the world. So, I guess it's a uh, win some, lose some territory on the start of this Eden run, but. That's, uh, that's the nature of an Eden run. You do start with two random items, but you don't necessarily know... Whoa, that was a good dodge. Completely unintentional. Good dodge nonetheless. You don't necessarily know which two you're going to get. Uh, this could go interestingly, if you remember yesterday's run with the uh, outrageous set of synergies that we ended up with. Sometimes when we got um, this very effect from $3 bill, that caused us great difficulty with Tractor Beam. Managed to do that without getting hit at all, which is extremely good. And we will spend the time to look at this uh, large room down here now that the Giga Fart Bean is active. We've got a coin out of it, so I guess, you know, whatever we did does pay. And we found the secret room completely by accident. Oh, that was really dumb. Simply from the effects of those, uh, those crevasse type things, rock is in across the room there. Very happy with that. Nearly walked into that spider, which is uh, not advisable. I think it's kind of against Isaac Meta to walk into enemies that are otherwise somewhat easily avoided. Well, at least once you've learned their patterns, they're easily avoided. Which is basically, get close enough, keep shooting it, move backwards in rhythm. A bomb. A bomb's what we need because there is a tinted rock on this floor. Not going to go to the shop because we have no keys and I can't imagine it's that valuable to us to do so. Uh, like, we could do this. I didn't break anything. <laughs> well done. Gotta be honest, this uh, this bean here, it's not my favourite bean. Uh, in fact, none of the beans I particularly like. But this one may be one of the least good. I mean, sometimes you can probably make a case for the fact that the pheromones bean is actually a bit better because it does have quite a large radius and therefore anything that gets in it will start attacking each other and you don't have to deal with it for at least a few seconds. Whereas this one, I mean a three three room charge on something that basically sends out one fisher. That's the word I was thinking of. One fisher. Not fisher price, but uh, fissure, as in you no know, rock breaking stuff. Another spirit heart. Uh, you have to imagine that's not brilliant, especially since this is a four room charge for a random consumable which could turn out to be a spirit heart. Or something equally good like a battery charge when there's something else on the room. Why has our damage gone up all of a sudden? Because of Samson's lock, I believe. Not actually sure what it does, but our tears got bigger. Therefore, I'm assuming that our damage got bigger. Maybe it's just a random... Every so often on a room you will get a damage upgrade? That seems pretty good. There doesn't seem to be any way of predicting which rooms it will be, but at the same time... Who cares, right? We've got so much HP, especially since being spirit hearts rather than uh, red hearts. We can play a little bit more, or rather less cautiously, more aggressively. I guess we'll use this here. That's a red heart. That could be okay. Double monster fight should be easy. Uh, these monsters are very re relatively slash reasonably weak. And I did get hit because I wasn't really paying that much attention, but uh, maybe I should be. When you say they're reasonably slash relatively weak, that is not an excuse to go, <laughs> Yeah, nice try, monster. That's not a, really a, a reason to go walking into the enemies or the bullets. That was an easy fight, even though we did take a bit of damage. Uh, we'll take this on the way out. Uh, yeah, this is actually really good. In fact, I don't want to take it. But what I'm thinking is we've already got flight as a result of the way we started this room. So I will take this because the flight, for my money, is the most valuable portion of uh, Empty Vessel. Ooh, this is pretty nice. But we've already got the flight. So, 
The next best portion is the random invincibility every so often, but we're doing really well. So, uh, I don't really want 404. Um, at some point in the future, we will have an opportunity to. Uh... What is what are our tears doing though? Is someone, can we talk about this? We will have an opportunity at some point in the future to maybe remove that HP again by giving it to the devil. Sure, <laughs> why not? Where are our curse rooms, by the way? Uh, and as a result of selling that final HP to the devil, we will then get our invincibility for the later floors, which are going to be fairly late because we are going as far as the cathedral. Now, the thing about the cathedral is, I didn't look for a secret room, maybe I should have. The thing about the cathedral is, you can't use any of the normal tactics to get out of it, or rather to get past it. Uh, no bombs, so never mind the secret rooms anyway, I guess. Why? So. The only way to get out of the cathedral is with the self-sacrifice room. However, do note that we can now do hush. And if anything, and if we're going to learn our lessons from previous runs, we should not immediately walk into the beam of light instead of fighting hush. Uh, I'm not sure that's actually too valuable because there's no opportunity to fight Mega State. Is what I'm thinking. Why aren't I using this uh, book here? So we're going to have to decide when to use. Uh, when to take the opportunity, if one shows up, to use the self-sacrifice room, because we did... That was not great. You know what, let's use this here. I know it could uh, give us mapping. There's a bomb now. That's helpful. And we can't see the map, but uh, I'm kind of banking on maybe getting the Dagar's rune, the uh, Black Candle, something like that. Or mostly I just wanted that room to die, so not a bad use of a sun card. I have to... I have to be honest, but it could have been better had we been able to see the map. Like, we could have saved it. So we're going to be looking for a self-sacrifice room on the chest. Or, we're going to have to decide whether or not we want to use the self-sacrifice room before the hush fight. And I think we do, but we certainly don't want to use the self-sacrifice room before... Oh, I'll tell you what I've just realised. It's a blinking succubus, isn't it? When we start the room, we've got a couple of shots in Succubus' Sphere of Influence. That's a Joker card, which is actually really helpful. I'm going to take BBF because uh, I hadn't thought about not taking it before I did take it. Stop, Tear. Thank you. So. Yeah. This 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 is one of those runs where there's a question of when you go for the self-sacrifice room. We may have already missed the only opportunity there was to take one. And to be fair, I'm not taking one on the first floor regardless. So... It's hardly a missed opportunity, is what I'm saying. It's just, you know, that was the only one on the run. So be it. We'll find out, because we will probably do a little bit better on this run than on the last run, because on the last run, I <laughs> took a $3 bill and kept exploding myself with fire mine, which is not an intelligent play, but a play nonetheless. Which is something I've noticed a lot of YouTubers saying, have provided that they've played any Darkest Dungeon at all. It's not something, but something nonetheless, right? A small victory, but victory nonetheless. Do we want that item? No. Do we want this item? I think we should take the steam sale here. It's future-proofing. You're investing in yourself, as Northern Lion often says. This is succubus, though. Maze balls. Pardon me with the... Where's my bomb at? Ah, here's some room, so. The car note is fine. Maybe there's a day guys in here. That would be nice. Take the Carno. We'll take Perthro with us. Ooh, two Perthros. There's a Dagas, so we can see what we've missed. There is a Curse Room, which I'm probably going to go to. Awas actually doesn't do anything for us on this run, so I'm going to see if it's a Black Market. It is not. There's our Joker card. So we'll take Perthro into the boss fight, which is right here, and then we'll explore this floor. I'm tempted to say we don't explore this floor a bit more. That was a pretty good shot from Gurdy Junior there, because. It felt like they ricocheted off each other, sort of speed boosted one another by being next to each other. Which is from a game. What game is that from? If you get close to another car, you get a speed boost from both. Oh, I want both. Oh, you dicks. Well, look, I'm going to take both anyway. I will keep Guppy's head. Oh, you didn't change. What is this even all about? Come on now. Uh, this deal with the devil mechanic needs to decide whether it's going to activate or not. That's bullshit. I call bullshit. Bullshit, though. Well, I guess we're going this way to see if we can find some stuff. We've got about a minute before we have to worry about it. 
a game where you get no, some another vehicle to get a temporary speed. It wasn't Mega Race, was it? It might have been. Remember Mega Race? Did anyone play it? Anyone? I'm like talking to the only person. <laughs> the one person watching this. James, did you ever play Mega Race? Um, it was a pretty good game actually. It was very for its time. It had a. Uh, I'm thinking of Mega Race 2 to be fair. Mega Race 1 was a bit shit. But you know how in the uh, 80s and 90s, well, mostly the 90s, I'd be fair. Games always had this sort of sequel thing going on where the first game was trash. But then the second game, they got enough money from the first game, because people thought it was a great idea, to actually put some money into production value of the game. I haven't had an opportunity to use this Perthro room, by the way, since we're talking about games. Let's talk about this game. I'm looking for an opportunity to use this Perthro rune, but I'm actually thinking maybe we could, uh... Do I want the Perthro or the Joker card? I think Perthro is going to be more valuable for us in the short term. And the Joker is basically going to get us a deal with the devil when we wouldn't normally get one. But yeah, Mega Race 2 had this production value thing where... It was at that period of time when all games had, uh, FMV cutscenes. Before computers were powerful enough to make the cutscenes out of the game engine itself, but after everybody was, excuse me, after everybody was expecting, you know, some actual quality in their game storytelling rather than just, here's a bunch of levels we've thrown together and a story sort of suffocated on top. Suffocated? Where did that word come from? You know what I mean, though. Leveraged in. As, a, as an afterthought, you know, we've, we've got these random games that we've made and suddenly the game makes no sense and I want to make it feel like I'm telling a story, but in fact I just want to dick around. Oh look, we've got um, we've got the effect of Empty Vessel. Temporary invincibility at a random period. That's pretty nice as far as I'm concerned. Do be careful not to get hit. I've lost many a lost run by walking into a room, being extremely powerful and going lol lol this is a one run. And then in fact I shoot all my death touch proptosis, you know, fire mine tears through I'm gonna take this as well. Just don't don't fill up that heart container. I'm not sure whether it's heart containers or filled hearts. And then all of a sudden you're uh, you're dead. It's not a secret room though. Why didn't I keep going that way? Good question, because there's a boss trap room there that we wanna do. Let's do that. Uh, I've completely forgotten which of the tangents I was last on. So let's just talk about this game. Odd Mushroom, Fat Odd Mushroom, please stop. Thank you. Is a strong damage upgrade, but it gives us HP. So what I want to know now, am I going to get the empty vessel benefits from having no health in that, in that heart container? Shizn it, get out of the way. When we get, um... Succubus. Oh, that was really bad. When we get in the aura of Succubus, we are doing some decent amounts of damage, but... We haven't really taken much of a damage upgrade except for Odd Mushroom just now. Fat Odd Mushroom. So, we're not really chewing through Mega Fatty as fast as I'd like. Which does not bode well for the future, because we got to get to Boss Rush and beat it. Ow. I keep getting, uh... I keep getting shot on a little bit by, um... <laughs> the fact I picked up BBF there. It always manages to blow up just as it's reached me. And I'm not too pleased with this turn of events. can avoid it in future. I did pick up a red heart. I decided that no, we're not getting the benefit from Empty Vessel. And we could probably sell our heart in the future anyway. Take that, thank you. We need to go a little bit faster, but our damage is not really helping out. Well, our damage dealing devices are certainly helping out. Oh yeah, let's just take Chaos and fuck everything up. Sorted. What's this? Oh, I don't want that. Do I want that? Ah, not really. Let's go. Oh, take this. Come on. Two of clubs. Fine. That's some points. That'll do. Let's go. Uh, we've got chaos. That's <laughs> completely... All bets are now off as to what items we're going to get because all item pools have been completely discarded. There are no item pools anymore except... Oh, fuck me. How are all these secret rooms not secret rooms? I'm just saying. All item pools are randomised. Can we not... Do I need the lover's card? Not particularly. That's the main secret room. What the jinkies? I'm just going to uh, nip through this floor nice and quickly. We want to be out here a bit faster than I seem to have achieved. Mostly because this is a super tanky boss right now. And um, 
I don't seem to be getting any time benefits from fighting it with a low damage thingy. So we got eight ball, which is shit. We roll it. Yeah, syringe, speed and range. Not my two favourite stats to be upgraded, but speed is actually. I do like to have just enough speed to be able to run around the floor uh, and indeed each room with some level of uh, confidence, but also not so much speed that you end up tapping the button and dodging out of one shot and into the next. So it's sort of a... It, it can be a, a stat that overstays its welcome. That was a bit close. I nearly walked into that explosion. But when you've got uh, a moderate amount of speed, that's uh, very valuable indeed. And we've got Succubus bouncing around the room, basically solving all my problems for me. <laughs> Except the one where I step backwards into shots because I'm now going faster than the shots are in the wrong direction. Uh, stay away from that, if you please. Try not to get hit by the red poop when it respawns. We succeeded, so uh, no need to worry if you're just listening, which I strongly suspect nobody is. We did not get hit by the respawning red poop. Worry not. We're doing, we're going quickly, and I think the reason we're going quickly is that um, Succubus is bouncing around, you know, tenderizing the enemies like, you know, the best steak dinner. But it'd be good if I could uh, continue to do dodges like that. I'd be very happy. I think BBF just exploded on one of the dark swans. You can't be called the dark one and then have two of them. Does that not seem odd? Also, this is not the dark one. I've seen the dark one. All oh, magic comes at a price. That's the dark one. What is this nonsense? It's some dude with horns. You can fly, by the way. If the dark one could fly, there'd be a, a lot more problems. I'm sure the dark one could fly, but maybe the CGI was too expensive. Yeah, that was a good dodge, actually. Sort of threading the needle between <laughs> between dark two. One of them trying to brimstone me. Oh, I got hit by that. Couldn't really uh, dodge in the right order. This is a devil deal item actually which makes me very happy because that's what chaos is supposed to do for you we have previously taken chaos and i've gone i've taken chaos this could fuck us or uh, in the good way or the bad way i suppose i'm not really sure how to find the opposite of to be fucked uh although that's a bit shit so we'll not <laughs> we'll not go in there mm, but bombs for ah it's but bomb for seven cents that is five bombs for seven cents actually now i think about it probably worth it plus a bomb synergy is Pretty nice, especially if you can find something that causes bombs to happen. Uh, e.g. Epic Fetus, e.g. the number two. Why did I even put myself in that position? Do I want this? Sure. What's done is done. I've taken it now. We're a bit slower. That's what lard does for you. Uh, but not significantly slower that I'm salty about it. All these fucking tears, though. Stand the heck still. Screw it. Every bloody secret room search has taken me twice as long as it should have. Oh! But bombs synergizes with BBF. I have come the right way. Which, I ah, bet you didn't know there was a the right way. Excuse me with the exploding in my face, though. That is not coming the right way. Uh, this is a reusable bomb buddy, which is not something I want, particularly. That's the bomb item that doesn't give you five bombs, so there's no point picking that shit up. Right, let's put this here without tears flying around, ruining my attempt at... Uh, Stop firing every time you go into a frickin' room, and then you won't have to wait forever for your tears to dissipate. Uh, we're going slowly. I'm not happy with this. We're out of here uh, a bit later than I'd like. We do need to do boss rush. suppose what we do then is we try and beeline to the boss. This boss took ages to beat, of course, because it was a double boss, which I did nothing to deserve. I think that's just a, a good reason to be ornery about that. Mind this. There we go. See, I preempted having my face exploded in then. And if you can preempt it, you can uh, correctly flinch to reduce the the fallout. Ah, yo, go. Excuse me, with the not being where I want to shoot. How many tears can I have on the screen? And none of them hit that bastard. There we go. A few flies every few rooms is extremely valuable. Don't need those. Like, we've got all this HP, but most of them just going to sell it. I do dislike those uh, sort of farty explosion type shots where you end up. They're just sort of scattered, right? They're scatter bomb shots. 
I don't know whether you can avoid them or you just have to be lucky. Like, they seem to have a low chance to actually hit you. Uh, this is shit, but I'm taking it. Uh, but then when they do hit you, it's like, could I have not been hit by that? Uh, yeah, that was <laughs> really well threaded, that needle. Good job. Didn't really fancy doing that self-sacrifice room right now. Nothing in here. It's a bit of a shit show, because honestly, I'd like to have um, not had to deal with this room. And also, I was hoping that that last room we just did would have been the correct way, so we didn't have to worry about it. Let's uh, get these on the way. Do all that. Knock these out. There we go. Excuse me. Thank you. Trying to go a bit quicker. We'll take paperclip. Uh, the stone chests are probably worth the effort of swapping out our item there. Uh, yes. That'll do. Five bombs for seven cents once again. Press the button. Leave. Where is our boss, please? It's got to be this way. There it is. Got a minute to beat the boss. I'm not even worried about that damage. Don't know why I'm worried about the coins just now. There is a Tinted Drop here, which could certainly help. That uh, certainly helped turn into a just generally help, please. As you may have imagined, because of the noise I made. We have plenty of time to beat this boss, but what's actually remarkable to me is how much of this floor we have just explored. When we've uh, got ourselves a little bit safe again, allow me to express the amount of this floor that we just did. It's all of it. There are two rooms we didn't do, and we couldn't get into one of them. I will actually spend money on infamy. Maybe I'll spend money. Fuck it. <laughs> it's done. You can't complain. Uh, this one, please. Maybe we will get lucky and find a deal with the. Right. What would you do in this situation? This guarantees us a deal with the devil on the next floor, which could contain absolutely anything because of chaos. But we could sell our final HP to achieve it. This increases our damage and gives us a spirit heart. This means that we have some protection and can walk into anything, and this is just a pretty cool bomb synergy, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm actually going to take the pact because I'm suffering on damage right now. And it's a tears upgrade too. Um, and I think that just about cuts the mustard, uh, if that's how you use that phrase, over the alternative um, of the goat head. But the goat head was such a... It seemed like the obvious choice, right? You get two more deals with the devil, guaranteed. But we have to pay for those. One of them I'm happy to pay for, because it'll be our uh, final HP. The difference between us and... Uh, it's, it's the obstacle between us and being able to use the empty vessel, which we bought very early on. That was dumb. I knew he was going to do that. But I was too concerned about... Okay, yeah, you can have that. Is it dead? Maybe. Let's just hang out here. Yeah, that seems good. Nothing can hit me here, I expect. Maybe those? Those could hit me, but if I stand here, I seem to be safe. Ooh, Infamy save me. Thank you, Infamy. Always thank Infamy. Always say thank you, Infamy. Thank you, Mr. Britus. This Miss Pitson, thank you, Miss Pitson. Uh, yes, so... Two deals with the devil that we have to pay for. When there is a deal with the devil item, next to one of them already, for free, meant... To me, that you actually take the deal with the devil item that you would have expected from the goat head, rather than gambling on having chaos. Because chaos makes deals with the devil worse, but things like boss rush way better, right? Because boss rush suddenly has a chance to give you devil items for free. The deal with the devil suddenly has a chance to make you pay for some shit item like fucking mom's heels, right? So I decided that was a, uh, excuse me? <laughs> How close would you like me to be in future to actually... Oh, I see what happened. Okay. That was actually BDF exploding on the bomb fly. Because BDF exploded, it had our bomb synergies, and therefore Mr. Mega, which causes it to do way more damage and a much greater radius. The damage doesn't actually affect us. It's still, oh, still half a heart. Hello. You're just uh, basically following me around. I don't appreciate it. Don't forget we have butt bombs, which causes poison damage to everything on the screen when it um, goes off. So we should probably make use of these 21 bombs that we do have. Even though, don't get me wrong, I'm fully aware that every single one costs us points. But it costs us points to take time to do all this, and it costs us points to keep getting hit. I'm not a fan of keep getting hit. Uh, we will deal with that Gurdy last, because it's going to only spawn flies and stuff. 
most of which are going to get caught up in our my reflection tears, or simply be replaced because it's going to spawn those nubs in front of it, and those nubs are going to keep getting replaced by new ones. Basically, I'm not concerned by Gurdy because uh, Gurdy's not going to be shooting us from across the screen, which is fine with me. Every now and then, it will produce a an actual shooty fly like this one. Where's my uh, succubus, though, please? Can we uh, have succubus back? What's promised of succubus? There he is. He's down there. What are you doing down there? Our range is so bad, though. I wouldn't actually probably not mind Mom's heels at this stage. I assume Mom's heels is a range upgrade because it raises your shot height because you're suddenly a bit taller. Never thought of that before. That's pretty cool. There's our spirit heart from beating that jabroni. I'm actually more concerned about Monstro here than I am about the... Uh, the Mask of Infamy. In theory, I'll be able to see the Mask of Infamy coming, although if you watch yesterday's episode, that is patently not true. But if they're both going to be near each other, that's going to be a problem. I'll tell you what, though. Since we've been able to fly since the start of the uh, start of the run, what we should probably do is hang out over the spikes. Because despite appearances, the Mask of Infamy does take damage from uh, being on the ground. Although my reflection actually does really good against uh, Mask of Infamy there, because all your tears come back. Now, come on, then. Where you at? There you are. Ooh, that was a very well-timed one of those things that you did. I think Succubus just beat the shit out of that uh, Gurdy Jr. for me. That was pretty nice. With enough of the orbs and the teleporting and the just being on the screen. Get out of it. Come on, come on. There we go. Whenever BFF hits something, it does actually poison everything. Oh, hello. You're here, are you? What we need to do here is try and tempt Monstro 2 into lasering the stain. So if we can get them in line with one another, <laughs> that would be the ideal thing. This may not actually work, so I guess we just um, give up on that. It's dead anyway. Perfect timing. Uh, just as I was about to do some mad MLP plays to play the enemies off against one another, what actually happened was they all exploded in a big fiery explosion of explodey fly thingy that we have. Look, enough of this. Do the shooty. No, do the shooty. No, do, do, do the... Ooh, infamy saved me again. Thank you very much. I believe that shot would have hurt for double damage as well, because it was a, a larger one from the uh, champion version of monster here. There we go. Our range is abysmal because of my reflection, but this, they stay on the screen forever, so it's hard to be salty about it, because they come back and help out. That was very close. The, uh, oh, BBF was nearly right next to me when uh, a uh, uh, thingy pin popped up, which would have been like the worst case of hoist by your own petard sort of thing. Combined with all the saltiness I usually have of those enemies on the womb that pop up behind you when you're trying to dodge the damn things. Are we f not done yet? Come on now. I want to, uh, kind of want to get you to... There we go. That's what we want to see. You can't really use your bombs in this situation. Wow, you fired it past me so I dodged backwards. I've lost a lot of HP here and mostly it's from getting too close to these jackasses. There you go. Don't really know how to deal with this. Whoa. Turns out it can turn around. So, uh, don't, don't uh, don't let that get you. But it doesn't seem to stop until it reaches the other end, so. Our shot speed is not fast enough to catch it on the way past, though. Let's do this. That seems to work. Our damage is still really bad, despite having picked up the pack. And we're taking so much damage, I'm kind of a little bit worried that we're not going to... BBF, why did I take you? I don't even... Why did I invite you to this party? All you've ever done is ruin things for everybody else. Done? No, not done. So we'll ignore that one, because that one doesn't activate until we kill its bony. Which I assume just got exploded. And then we'll shoot it uh, as much as possible until brimstone happens. I'd like this to be over pretty soon, actually. Yeah, our damage is still pretty poor. Not entirely sure what I did to deserve that. This, um, this is probably my least favourite version of the Haunt as well, because it's going to do diagonal lasers like that, which could hit this enemy, I suppose. It also does that, which I find extremely difficult to dodge. 
So let's get rid of you first. Because I can at least keep tabs on... Yeah, GG. Well then. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is plenty of red hearts on the ground, right? How many waves, though? Are we not on the end yet? A uh, bit worried about this. We haven't got too much HP left. And I keep getting hit by BBF. I think BBF has probably done most of my damage so far. Or most of the damage to me. Out of all the enemies, I am my own worst one. Well, I was a bit cocky earlier when I said we'd probably do alright on this one. But I did say at the time of picking up BBF, I took BBF because I didn't think about it before I took BBF. So, probably could have perthro BBF on the very floor. That we got the perthro rune on. Never mind. Still going, huh? We've already had one of these dingles as well. I want to get rid of um, death, because death causes those things to charge you and explode. Let's just put any bomb down. It doesn't really matter whether it hits anything, because it's going to confuse enemies, and it's going to uh, clear out anything that will succumb to the damage from, uh, from, the, from the poison damage. Oh, careful there. BBF, will you actually hit something when you're away from me for once? Goodness me. I'm half expecting yes, like that. Thank you. Half expecting this Joker to uh, charge me down when I least expect it. Yeah, there we go. Oh my God, you hit me. What? Uh, why am I still? Maybe I immediately picked up an HP. Didn't intend to. Wondering why I'm still alive. But we do get permanent Polaroid invincibility temporarily every time we get hit. Now, luckily, all our damage is uh, half a heart so far. But Wow, our damage is actually really bad. Despite how fast we seem to be tearing through the rooms previously, this has taken a very long time. And I'm running out of things to talk about, so um, there will now be radio silence until I think of something else. Well, I died, so that sort of solves that, doesn't it? Can we talk about what hit me just now? I have no idea. There was an explosion, and then he went, uh, uh, and then... And now I'm dead. It was a full heart of damage, so it wasn't BBF. It wasn't my own tears, because I don't have explody tears. So something on this... In this area just blew up in my face. Literally. For a full heart of damage, and I have no idea what it was. So. Why don't you leave a comment and tell me what the fuck just happened. And come back tomorrow to see if we can actually get through a run. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.